The chakra that's hurting is the one that is awakening right now. If it's your root, you're releasing a certain sense of security, false security, false stability. And once that's removed from you, once you start feeling at home within yourself, feeling secure within yourself, not needing outside validation for that, you're going to start feeling great. And you're gonna feel grounded, more grounded than ever. Rooting yourself somewhere is not gonna be hard. Wherever you go, it's gonna feel secure, safe, comfortable. If it's your sacral chakra, you're healing sexual trauma. This trauma doesn't have to be from this lifetime. It could be from past lives. It could also be generational trauma. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Even if you don't feel that you were abused or uh, traumatized in some way, if you feel it in your sacral chakra, you either inherited it from or it was passed down to you by your family or you felt called to heal it from past lives. Sacral chakra is always connected to creativity. How much of that are you expressing into this world? Are you letting yourself be the channel that you're supposed to be? Remember that intimate relationships are always sacred. Whether you want to take them casually or not, it doesn't really matter what your intention is. Every time you share your sacral energy with someone, meaning through sexual intimacy, you are as well sharing your sacral chakra energy with them. So some of us need to clear a lot especially millennials with our Pluto and Scorpio. Sexual energy has been made cheap. If it's the solar plexus, you were born to parents who never made you feel good enough. Whatever you've been trying to manifest and express into this world, you felt that there was a lack of confidence, sometimes a lack of trust from authority figures around you. It's time to connect to your faith again. How much do you believe in yourself? The more you have faith in God, in Source, the more you are able to connect to your higher self and believe in your worth, in your confidence, in the fact that you have so much to offer to this world. Solar plexus is connected to Leo energy, by the way. If you're hurting in the heart chakra, the heart is how you connect to your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. This is the direct channel, direct connection to Source, to God. Two, three, four in the clock. Whenever you're connecting and hurting through the heart chakra, just know that you're gonna be elevated. You're going to go through um, pain. I'm also hearing heartbreak in order for you to level up. Your vibration is increasing. Every time we have pain around the heart chakra, we are protected, we are being guided, we are mentored by our guides, our angels. You need to trust just give your pain to whoever you believe in if it's in jesus if it's in krishna if it's in god if it's in allah whoever you believe in mother mary give this pain to them they will help you heal they will help you feel relieved the pain is going to feel less heavy and all of a sudden you're going to sense it you're going to instantly feel the heaviness gone your heart is going to feel so much lighter just be thankful to them. Give back gratitude. As long as you're grateful, that's all you need to give in terms of energy exchange to this deity or source. If it's the throat chakra, know that there is a mentor coming your way. This mentor is helping you through energy healing, uh, whether it's a Reiki master, whether it's um, a healer of any kind, or even a, I'm here in a public speaker. It doesn't really matter what they do, but there's going to be help in terms of energy healing. The throat is a portal. If you feel pain in the throat chakra, you need to use it. You need to be communicating. You are lacking some self-expression of some kind, whether it is through writing, speaking, reading, you need to self-express. And this gift needs to be shared with the world. And the mentor is coming to help you with that. If you're hurting through the third eye chakra, this can actually happen through headaches for some or even feeling like a lack of intuition like your intuition is not working anymore for the third eye chakra it will be important to connect to your innocence purity of heart remember why you do the things you do as long as you do remember that as long as you follow that purity of heart that innocence you're going to be able to clear the energy 
the stagnant energy around that chakra specifically. If it's the crown chakra, a lot of the time we feel confused. There is a lack of clear mindedness and it's hard for us to, you know, have a clear mindset in general. We're just confused. And we also could be suffering from illusions and addictions for some of us. I'm also hearing obsessions. The crown chakra, you guys, need to be protected. So if you're not feeling protected, you need to ask for protection. You can use uh, crystals, you can use energy healing, you can use Reiki. Uh, you can also use different type of rituals, but you will need to protect yourself because you don't want to get attacks on the crown chakra. A lot of us, when we feel depleted that way or confused, it's because we're receiving negative energy. Cord cutting can help as well.